Hello guys, today we learn how to import data into SQL Server with the SQL Server Integration Services SSIS. For this we have required SQL Server Data Tools for Visual Studio 2015 or SQL Server Data Tools or Visual Studio 2019. Here we know our source is SQL Server and destination is also SQL Server. Let us see this figure to understand. Uh, I want to import data from this server to this server and there is one table like employee details. In this table there is field employee ID, employee name and you can see there is only three records. Employee ID, employee name, 101 Raj and their employee photo. So it may be more than million record or uh, thousand one lakh records no issue now let us see with real example with visual studio sql data tool first we open visual studio 2015 now go to file new projects put here name of the project like import data into sql click on ok buttons so you can see here our project will be created and there is in SSIS package package.tx so this in this is in design form now I want to transfer data from one source server to another server and both server is SQL server let us see you can see there is no data flow first we go to one control flow now put data flow tux click on data flow tux and you need to put here source and destination and configure it let us see other source our other source is sql server so we are taking oledb data source now also need to put destination and destination we already know that is sql server so also it will take we will take it OLED destination so our source and destination will be there you can see in the design now need to configure it so go to new delete this now click on new so you have to put here SQL server name server name may be your computer name or database IP address your database so here my computer name we can put according to your data base server name you put here I put here now click on SQL Server Authentication put user ID and password now stretch this and select database source database need to select here our source database test sample where currently data we have now click on test connections and click on OK now click on OK now check the table our table is implied details now click on preview so you can see your three rows are here now close and check columns you can see three columns are there imply id imply name imply photo now click on ok now uh, need to map first from source to destination so attach this to destination server now i have to configure destination server here you have taken same destination servers means our same system you can put here your click here put server name SQL server here you can put the destination server name where do you want to push the data put a user name and password stretch this window to see and our destination server is the server 
same but database will be different so test sample click on test connections and click on ok again click on ok and choose where your data want to send import click on this and see there is no data presently but you can see there is uh, two column only so need to create table so we can put here click on new and we can put here destinations table if you have not created like emp details employee id you know by name and employee photo click on ok so it will create it at runtime now you can see there is also need to map the columns and mapping page so go to mapping so our input and destination column so they are map now and click on ok so you can see our source and destination will be configured with database server now need to check through the running of the application whether data will be transferred or not now click on starts so you can see three rows will be transferred from source to destination and success with success signs now check whether these three data rows will transfer to distinct servers so this is our source database and this is destination database like this sample 2 now select x star from by details and execute this query and our table name like emp details we have just created and you can see there are three rows in the table so this way we can import the data from sql server to sql server thanks for watching my youtube videos if you want to more videos please subscribe my youtube channel